this video, we'll be covering how to configure username and password credentials in the SM800A. We will start here from our login screen in StoreView Web, and we will enter, uh, we'll need supervisor credentials to do this in a controller. Uh, but once we are connected from the home screen, we'll want to click on our menu button and get into configuration. And then we're on the left menu pane, we're looking for system here, and there will be an option for users. Uh, one of the things that's unique to the 800A, you cannot see passwords that are already set up in the system. So even if you have supervisor level access, you can change other levels or other users, username and passwords, but you cannot actually see what the password is. So when we're in the setup here, if we wanted to add a new user account or, or credentials for a new user, we have a button at the top we can click on for add new user. And you can see this added a second user in, in the list here. We can change again the, what that username is. We'll call it test one here for this example. And then the password you can change to whatever numerical numerical or alphanumeric uh, password you want to use for a, a password for this user account. Once we've done those two things, then there is a, a level that we want to get into to set what uh, abilities or access the user has when they use these credentials. So each one of these columns, config, manual operation, alarms, and other are um, set sections or settings in the program that, that the user would be able to access when they have that check mark marked off for a given uh, given field. So for example, this configuration system window that we're in now that we had selected from the pane on the left, if that was selected, a user would be able to access this section of the program. If it's deselected like it shows here, they would not be able to when they're using these credentials. In the same way for other configuration sections of the program, uh, when we're on status screens for things like a case or a rack or a rooftop unit, then we can allow or disallow a user to get into the manual operation uh, section under the service tab to do things like override a relay, put a case in defrost for some examples, and then some of the secondary fields that we have in the program, things like alarm routing, acknowledging alarms, rescanning the system, or even using USB, we can enable and disable what functions are tied to this account by enabling or deselecting these checkboxes and then clicking save. Something else that's new with the 800A is also uh, account and password expiry. So here you can see by default that the password is set to expire once every 120 days. This can be changed to other increments, more frequent or less frequent, or it could be changed to not expire at all. And then the same thing for the account itself. We could choose whether this user's account is temporary over the span of anywhere from one days up to one year, or we could make the user account permanent by selecting none, which it defaults to for the user account. That's how you would configure uh, user credentials in the SM800A system manager. <laughs>